What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw in three point perspective. If you've seen my video on drawing in two point perspective, you'd see me draw a whole lot of vertical lines here and there. But instead, we're going to do the same thing but instead of using vertical lines, we're going to use our third point to place lines just like those. If you don't understand what I'm saying now, just watch the rest of the video so you can get a better understanding of what I'm trying to say. If we're drawing in perspective, we're going to need a horizon line. Vertical lines do this, horizontal lines do this. We need a horizon line. So you can place it up here or down here, anywhere on the page is fine. So I'm gonna place it like right up here and just draw it. And then I'm gonna place two of my points on this line. So I'm gonna place it on this other page right here and I'm gonna use a marker instead so you guys can see that. I'm placing one here and I'm placing one there. Now since this is three point perspective, we're gonna need a third point. So with our third point, we can place it up here. But if you're drawing in three point perspective, there are two ways to do it. You can draw in a worm's eye view or a bird's eye view. A worm's eye view, you're viewing it from the bottom where the grass is because that's where you would normally find a worm. And if you're drawing it from a bird's eye view, you're drawing it from up high because that's where you would usually find a bird. So if your point is down here, you're going to be viewing it as a bird's eye view. And if it's up here, you're going to be viewing it as a worm's eye view. Which is uh, not too hard to remember. It's kind of like the opposite. But I'm going to make it down here because I placed it up here. And then I just want to cover this entire page. So we're going to be drawing this at a bird's eye view. So we're going to make a couple blocks here. We're going to make like a stack of blocks in three point perspective. Now this is pretty complex because you got three points everywhere. So you're going to have pretty much lines everywhere depending on what you want to draw. So since this is a third point, we can still place a vertical line here as long as it connects to this point. That way it makes it a little bit easier. So that way we know where almost every line would intersect at. And now we can get started. So I'm going to set this aside. So I'm going to use my 6 inch ruler to get the smaller lines in place. I'm going to start from here and I'm going to make sort of a, a line like this. Make sure it connects to this point up here. And then do the same thing. So you're going to connect this point to this uh, one point over here. And we're going to connect and we're going to have it not intersecting on this line but having it stop there. Just so we won't have a, another line coming this way and then we'll, and then we're going to be confused later if we have other lines doing the same thing. Okay, now that we actually got our surface in place, we're going to connect each and every one of these points to this third point here. But since we're seeing the top of it, this is considered a bird's eye view. So now we're going to connect each and every one of these points towards this third vanishing point. And since these two points are kind of connected, they intersect on this vertical line that we drew earlier. We don't necessarily have to draw another line because it's going to be the same vertical line. So it wouldn't be necessary. Earlier I said we were going to draw blocks. So eventually this kind of cube shape will kind of stop. So I'm just going to start off drawing a line like this. And then all we got to do is connect this point to this point, making sort of a cube shape. And we're going to do it one more time because I said it was going to be sort of a hovering stack of cubes. Now that the cubes are actually drawn, we're going to make it three dimensional. So see these little openings here? It's going to be this surface on top of this one, if, if that makes sense. So we're going to simulate this surface on these other two blocks. So we're going to connect this point towards this one perspective line so that this line goes this way. And then the same thing with the other vanishing point. And now those blocks are pretty much drawn. Okay, now that the drawing is complete, I'm going to show you a cool way you can add shadows. So we're still going to use these three uh, vanishing points here, but let's make the shadows kind of face this way. So again, we're going to connect this point towards this line down here, this last uh, line here. That's pretty much the ground to this uh, vanishing point up here. And you can pick any point you want to start uh, stop the shadows. You can have it like ending right up here. And then we're going to make another line from this point to our vanishing point. Let's 
And then to connect these two lines, we use this other vanishing point up here. And for the shadows, we can use like three different points to simulate these areas because there won't be a shadow on these two on this shadow here, if that makes sense. So let's actually make it into three squares for the shadow. Something like this. And then I'm going to take my gray marker and just go over the lines that we need. And I feel this drawing is better with the shadow because you kind of get a sense of realism within this project. But three-point perspective is one of the most challenging methods of drawing in perspective. But if you do have trouble drawing in three-point perspective, it just takes practice. But that's my video on drawing in three-point perspective. If you liked it, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.